Alright guys, so Fula with another video. Shout out to the whole LBGC. So on this gloomy Sunday, I just kind of want to recap on uh, the fights last night, man. It's not going to really be like a post-fight thing. It's just going to be about two particular fighters, man. For anybody who don't know me, uh, and you can see it on the avatar, I'm a big guy when it comes to these Cuban boxes. Man, I really like the style. You know, it was the style that was taught to me. And yeah, man, I really ride with it a lot. So I'm always supporting my Cuban boxers, man. For real, for real. You know, um, do I have a bias towards them? Uh, I wouldn't say I have a bias, you know, but I support them and always root for them to win, you know, but if deep in my heart, I know they can't win, then, um, I'll, I'll say it, like, for example, uh, I think Sumi Bomb Ferreira, he actually called out Kovalev or something, or he, he talked about fighting Kovalev, uh, me personally, I don't think he can win that fight, you know, against Kovalev, because, we saw what happened to him against Bivol, you know? So I don't think like, he would win a Copa Man fight. But I want to kind of talk about King Kong Ortiz and uh, Arislan Divara last night. You know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, Father Time has finally caught up to the two fighters. And that they're basically on uh, bought time right now, you know? Honestly, my humble opinion, this is just my humble opinion. Styles make fights. And you never know what you're going to get with some of these opponents, especially unknown opponents, you know, here you had this guy, Christian Hammer, who probably never fought in the United States before, right, and then you have Brian Castano, who never fought in the United States either, that was his first time fighting in the United States, you know, now granted, the two fighters can, of course, study tape and whatnot and figure out their style. But, you know, who knows? Maybe um, the person that they're fighting will bring a different style, you know? So, what I'm, what I'm getting at is that you know, when you make when when these fighters make adjustments to these different styles, um, you know it may not look so pretty. Put it that way. Now, if you were to ask me if Eris Landy Lara and Luis King Kong Ortiz were on bought time, I would say. No. I would say that basically they need to consider like consider retirement after a couple of more fights. That's what I would say. I would say that they're fresh enough for a couple of more fights. Now that mean, that doesn't mean that they go on until they're like, like with wheelchairs and stuff like that. No, that doesn't mean that. That means that maybe two to three more fights and then they can ride off into the sunlight. Depending, and those fights would be depending on if they take a lot of damage or not you know, in those fights, then you may want to subtract the fight from that, you know, 
But from what I saw last night from the two fighters, starting with King Kong Ortiz, you know, a lot of people are used to a knockout, you know, from Luis Ortiz. They're used to him stopping these guys early. But that dude who he fought was just a different style, and he had a hell of a beard. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say that too. That dude had a hell of a beard. So with that being said, you know, of course he's going to give him problems. You know, I think at one point in the fight, he like, he like, I want to say like clip Luis Ortiz's nose, you know, and it, uh, it has some blood, you know what I mean? But again, that was just a tricky opponent, you know? And he had, a, as we said before, he had a hell of a beard. That guy had a beard on him, man. That dude was eating some big shots, right? So, with that being said, it went to a unanimous decision. And we already know what happened. But now, what needs to be said is hopefully this performance that we have with Luis Ortiz, hopefully this can be bait to get Anthony Joshua to fight him now. You know, now maybe hopefully he'll fight him and he'll, and he'll be like, oh, well, he's on the decline, so now I can get him. You know, and then Luis Ortiz will just surprise him and then show him something else, you know. That's what I, that would be the ideal scenario, right? Now, on to Airsland de Lara. With that fight with Brian Castano, and I try to, I, I'm going to try to be as objective as possible. But I had Aaron Delora winning at least seven rounds in that fight, okay? There were some close rounds where Brian Castano would, um, I guess you could say, um, steal those rounds at the end. But nothing that really made you say, wow, this guy, uh, this guy did it, did that. Nothing was really there where I was saying, yeah, Brian Castano won that fight, you know. I gave the fight to Erislan Ibarra. Now, many people are saying that the way Laura fought, it looked like he was declining. It looked like he was in the decline. My opinion is this. Laura fought in spots, okay? The counter was effective too. The counter was very, very effective. He was catching, uh, I want to say he was catching uh, Castano with straight left. I mean, honestly, Castano was eating straight left all night. So, and even when Castano tried to throw pressure, like, like pressure Lara, and really stalk him and cut off the ring. Even when Lauren did go toe to toe, there were some uppercut throw and there were some body there was some good body work on the behalf of Laura, right? Another thing I want to say too in this is that 
as I watched the fight again, there were certain parts of the fight where he actually had Castano hurt. And Castano backed up. You know? I think if he would have capitalized off the back, he probably would have been more convincing to give a, a, a victory. You know? But... The matter in which he fought Castano, the way I look at it is... Um, For him to be uh, 35 and him still having like sharp reflexes and stuff like that, being able to slip punches, using the high guard effectively and stuff like that, I honestly think um, he looked, he did what he needed to do. That's what I think. I think did what was necessary to win, you know, that's what I feel, now, many people will say, oh, he looked tired, oh, he looked like he's done, and stuff like that, many people will say that, my personal opinion, looked like he was just boxing. That's it. It just looked like he was boxing. That's all it looked like he was doing. I will admit that that her fight did probably take a lot out of him. You know, because the thing is, her was a big guy. That's the thing. He was big. You know, very, very big guy. So, you know, and Arislan Delara has said he'll rematch her, he'll rematch Castano. So he still wants smoke, you know. He still wants smoke. So for me, personally, even after the fight, Arislan Delara's face didn't look pieced up. From what I saw, Ryan Castano's face looked more pieced up than Laura's face. So I still think uh, Laura got like maybe two or three more fights in him. And then he can ride off into the sun. You know? But I still think, um, you know, and, and what I will say too is uh, he just needs to take care of his legs. You know, just take care of his legs, make sure like he finds the balance uh from what i saw from his training camp the little that i did see he was doing a lot of road work a lot a lot a lot of road work okay so maybe he needs to like like modify that and um and basically still get his conditioning and the stamina in without doing so much road work because he was running a lot i mean every other day six miles, six miles, seven miles, you know, so yeah, but me, I think King Kong Ortiz, I think Erislan Dibar, me personally, although father time, you can't be father time, I think with them, they are basically on parallel paths with father time, and if they play smart, they can go a little while longer and then ride quietly into the night. That's how I feel, based on their uh, performances that I saw last night. Leave your thoughts and leave your comments. Make sure if you're not signed up to the LDBC website, you sign up and you download the app on your phone too. Move a signing out. I'm Jarama.